Welcome in to Rock Painting 101. I'm just finishing out blocking my bunny outline here so you didn't have to sit and watch me fill in. I'll give you a couple tips for doing your outline so that you can get a shape that you like. As we get started here, I'm just going to get this on so that I can start drawing. This is coat number two. I like to do two coats of my white. Uh, just because sometimes if you're going right on your rock, it will soak in a little bit. Basically, to make the shape, it looks pretty simple, but um, there are a couple tips I'll let you know. Um, when you're doing, I always suggest do your ears first because just make your ear shape and come down into your rock, and then you can decide on the size of your head. That way you don't end up with super short ears at the top because you made this giant head and there's not enough room for ears. Now, I am doing a cartoon style you know, bunny, so I don't even have pointy ears. So I'm. this is obviously my take on a little bunny and you can adjust and do whatever you like. So um, Easter rocks aren't showing up in the rock painting tutorials for a little while. So I thought I'd get a little um, jump start or on the, the challenge. It's still a couple weeks out and somebody had requested a bunny. So this is my bunny that we're going to do today. He'll go along really cute with our, our chick that we have. So I'm just gonna go along the outside edge with a gray, just to separate it from the edge of the rock a little bit. Now I do have this little bunny here on the top of the screen. I did this with all colors. Oh, uh, hold on one second, what baby? Okay, um, I did all of these colors here are from the same pack of fine tip pens and so I wanted to show that you could create it if that's all you've got for the big one I'm actually using a variety of different sizes and colors and things like that so I just didn't want you to say well I don't have 10,000 packs of pens I can't make this you definitely can you can even pull out your paint brushes and acrylics and create this as well. So I'm just going around the full edge here and I have it just kind of falling off the bottom of the rock. And then I'm also going to do a line here just to separate the head from the body like that. Now I'm using this pastel pink because I love my pastels for everything Easter. Give a little bit of a shake. And we'll do the inside of the ears up here at the top. Now I like to just kind of do a stripe down the center of the ear first and then curve it out a little bit on each side. Kind of helps keep it centered and so that you can follow the shape on the outside because it does taper to be a little skinnier as it gets close to the head. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Go down here. And we'll tape this side down as well. But if you only have like a bright pink, it still looks really cute. And I even did this tiny one with just these fine tip points. Oh, there's my daughter again. Yes, baby. Okay. Well, this is the joy of live and being at home with my little one. I promise to be right back. Sorry guys, motherhood calls. You know, that's what happens when we have lives. Okay, so right back at it. <laughs> I'm sure some of you are moms out there. Another reason why I like the pens. Sometimes I start rocks and I have to put the caps on and walk away. She saw a tiny itty bitty ant. We get these little sugar ants where we live and they freak her out. Okay, so we're gonna go right in and add our nose. We're basically doing an upside down triangle with slightly kind of rounded edges. Not a super big point to it at all. And the cheeks are up to you. If you like to have little pink cheeks, I think they're, they're cute to have these little pink cheeks on here. If that's not your style, you don't have to put them on there. Try to kind of give them a little second to make them even. And you can also do gray whiskers or black whiskers or whatever you like. I had my extra fine out to do its mouth, but I think since this is bigger, I'll just go with my fine tip point. My husband told me I I love Bob Ross. If you guys are new to my page, I reference him quite a bit. 
but he said I should edit my videos to add the colors and the sizes of pens that I'm using in my videos to go across the bottom of the screen, which I think would be lots of fun, but since these are live, I can't really do that. So upside down M or a W without the, the high sides, that's simple enough, right? And then for the eyes, you can look up whatever style eyes you want, but we're just doing these U-shaped eyes. And if you need a point of reference, I kind of go from the edge of the cheek to the middle of the nose is what I'm kind of doing for a size reference. So I'm just gonna go from the edge of the cheek to right above the tip of the nose and do the same thing on the other side and that'll kind of give you a place to aim like that. And mine's a girl bunny, so I give her a couple eyelashes, but you don't have to add those if you don't want to, just like that. And we're almost done. See how simple she is? This is such a fun and easy little rock to paint. And I know I've, I've had some people commenting that they're going to do fun um, rock hunts around Easter. So these would be really cute to do a bunch of bunnies to go along with a bunch of, you know, the chicks and stuff to hide around. So side whiskers, I just do three right off the cheek. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Super cute, super easy. You guys, I forgot to even refresh my screen today. My daughter caught me off guard. Um, I will check really quick to make sure there's no questions, but this one is nice and simple, quick one today. And I really hope to see a lot of bunnies in the comment comment section here. Um, so thanks for stopping in. Hello, everybody. I've got Sheila, Joe, Joanna. Sandy, thanks for stopping by and thanks for joining live, everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, I did link to our website above, so if you need any supplies, you can head there. And you can also get more rock painting ideas there as well. So everybody have a fabulous day. Take it easy.